Hi everyone, in this video I am going to speak about OpenFOAM and ANSYS and the most important differences between OpenFOAM and ANSYS. So quickly and briefly. Uh, the first and the very first and important difference between OpenFOAM and ANSYS is that OpenFOAM works on a uh, Ubuntu and uh, it's a Linux uh, distribution, but ANSYS works on Windows. Uh, I see most of the people these days works work with Windows and they don't have um, enough information about OpenFOAM. But uh, you can search on Google and, uh, and have and have more information about Open and the differences between Ubuntu and Windows uh, but you can have both uh, operating systems I mean Ubuntu and Windows as I do in one system and use them together the second uh, difference between OpenFOAM and ANSYS is that OpenFOAM uh, is free you know it's about price open form is free is it's because it's operates uh, it works on ubuntu and the most um, uh, software which are work which are in ubuntu are free and they don't have any licenses and but for ansys you have to pay in 2000 20 you have to pay 30000 per do, uh, per license uh, for i think for uh, for a uh, student university students it's a bit a lot and uh, it is a bit different for companies and, and the third difference between openform and ansys is that uh, openform is an open source software but ansys is a closed source what does it mean it means that you know if you work with windows you may not know what does it mean uh, uh, software is an open source software uh, for example if you work with open form open form uh, you can change the solvers and you can make your own solvers you can combine solvers you can do whatever you want and you can make your own uh, boundary condition but in ANSYS you have some certain and pretty uh, I can say predefined uh, solvers boundary conditions and you cannot change because you don't have and you don't access to source code uh, but in open form you access the source code you can change the source code the fourth uh, difference is about geometry how you can um, make your geometry in open form uh, uh, there is a file it's block mesh in that file you can make just uh, in open form you can make just some simple and rectangular uh, you can change you can make some other geometries uh, but uh, it's mostly uh, about simple geometries i know uh, circle rectangular but if you want some other some a bit uh, difficult and complicated geometries uh, you have to use some other softwares uh, but it's not a big deal that you can in open form uh, you cannot uh, make a complicated complicated geometries because uh, you can make your geometry on other um, softwares like uh, i know uh, solidworks katia and other softwares but in ansys you can make more complicated geometries and and you can run it uh, in conclusion if you are an academic student uh, i highly recommend you that uh, to use open form and uh, and work with open form uh, um, but uh, if you are a company manager or you work for a company i think uh, ansys is a bit a bit better option for you but uh, in these days you have to know both open form and ansys so 
great because maybe one day you work for a company and and that company works with ANSYS but you have worked with open from in that case you uh, you may you know lose that job and because of that I recommend you that to know both great but and uh, work with one of them uh, a bit more and better. Thanks for your attention. If you have any questions, uh, you can ask me and I, I try to answer all the comments.